So the idea, again, is that all the resources that you need are already inside you. You just gotta break through the fear. The fear, that's like the prison bars. It's the emergency break. It's the change you gotta break free from. So those are some things that you can do to break through your fear. And if you can't and you don't want to come out and join us, do something and then come back on the call next week and we're going to talk about it. Okay, I'll bring you on the call and we'll, all, we'll share experiences. So that's the plan. Now what I want to do now, the call is at one hour, but I reserved a little bit more time. I want to bring on a couple of people here. I think Stephanie's willing to maybe come on and talk about an experience that she had with fear. Uh, on one of the courses that we did recently. And I just want you to hear from her. I don't know if Valerie's still with us or Charles is still with us. I know, you know, Valerie had the fear of snakes her whole life, deathly afraid of snakes. We were going to have a is – she, is she with us today? Okay, great. I don't, and I don't know if they're willing to be on. I know you guys have got things to do, but if you're willing to stay on for a little bit of bonus time, I want to ask that you do that now. So, Stephanie, you want to um, go ahead and jump on the call here? Let's wait for her to unmute herself. Hey, everybody, can you hear me? I can hear you fine. Cool. Well, thank you, everybody, for getting on the call. Um, I think the coolest experience that I had um, when we were out with the Adventure Club was um, on the free fall with the zip lining. And it was a 100-foot free fall. And um, there, there's part of me that's like, you know what, I'm cocky. I can do anything. And when I climbed that 100-foot tower and it was time for me to perform and jump, I couldn't do it. And... Um, I wasn't ready to do it. I didn't realize that I had the fear, and that's really what the cool thing is about doing all these different bioenergetic experiences is that I was unconscious of this fear, and my pride was holding me back from really seeing it. So I went up on the tower, and I couldn't do it. So I actually walked all the way back down the tower, and then this was in, like, the second week in December, and then around Christmas time or the week after, I'm like, you know what? I want to, I want to leap into the new year and face my fear, so we called the place, and we went back down and did a zipline adventure and had a lot more people show up, which was so awesome. And Scott rehearsed with me. We did the techniques and everything. And I walked up the tower, and, um, you know, one of the things that was different, I mean, with the strategy was typically what I do is I like to go first, and instead I let everybody else go first, and it was because I was scared. It wasn't because, you know, I was doing them a favor, but it was because I was scared. So this time, um, you know, I changed the strategy. I went right after Scott, and um, eventually, I mean, I, I jumped. I jumped off. I went off a little bit different than um, I originally rehearsed, but the, the cool thing that I learned about that was, you know what, I might not do it exactly as I rehearsed, but the bottom line is I did it. And where I can use that in picking up the phone and calling people or speaking my truth, and it might not come out exactly as I want it to, but it's going to come out, and I'm still going to like achieve the outcome that I desired. So it was really awesome. We got a ton of support. So I hope to see you guys um, maybe out. We're doing the free fall this Sunday. So if anybody's interested in coming out to zip line with us, um, you can check out. We have a Facebook event page. So thank you, Scott. Yeah, thank you, Stephanie. And can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, great. Just want to make sure I didn't mute myself out there. So. That was, yeah, that was an amazing experience to watch Stephanie and uh, break through her fear. Now, if you, when you go back out, there's not going to be any fear that's going to hold you back this time at all, right? Uh, no, I'm going to do it. I mean, I'm thinking about it a little bit, like, okay, am I going to do it again? Because I did it twice that day, but what I'm doing is I'm continually rehearsing it. Like, I'm rehearsing it in my head before I go. So um, I activating the support principle and putting it out there, no, I'm definitely going to do it. So. <laughs> All right, cool. And since you've done this, I've been watching you, and this has showed up, this new confidence has showed up in your life many times. And it's really amazing to watch. And so I don't know if Charles is able to unmute and hit star six. Um, if you're there, Charles, let me know at any time. But, Charles, we went down to Panama City Beach. And are you there, buddy? I don't know if he's there with us or not, but... Uh, it's star six to unmute yourself, Charles, if you're with us. And anyways, he, you know, Charles was in Vietnam. He was a door gunner in, in Vietnam and flew around in helicopters, a lot of fearful situations. And, you know, that was, what, 30, 40 years ago. And fear, it creeps back up on you. And he had the fear of the heights. And we were doing this thing called the slingshot down there where we were shooting straight up in the air 300 feet in about one and a half seconds 
one, you know, what was that, like six Gs, six gravities, like, you know, a rocket ship. And it shoots you straight up in the air. It's like a reverse bungee jump. And i got to tell you, man, I've jumped out of a plane. I've got about 100 jumps. That thing brought the fear up in me a little bit, too. And so Charles, the first day, he decided, I am think I'm not going to do that one. And we went back to the condo that night. We did a few techniques. We did some strategy. We went out the next day, and he did it. So that's what happens a lot of times is you've got to bump up against what you're afraid of. And because that's one of the main problems I see is people are unconscious of their fears. I see so many people that say, oh, I'm not afraid of anything. Their life is filled with fear. They're afraid of what people will think. They're afraid of what people will say. They're afraid of failure, and they don't even realize it. If anybody tells you, I'm not afraid of anything, those are the people that usually have the most fear in their life. And if you're one of those, I just want to let you know it's okay to admit you've got the fear. We all have it. We're human beings. If you're breathing and you're alive, fear is a constant. It constantly creeps into your life. So, um, I don't know, is Valerie still with us? Is Valerie Taylor, is she on the phone? This is Charles. Can you hear me? Oh, okay, Charles. Well, let, so just stay with us, Valerie. And so, Charles, did I did you hear everything that I was describing? Uh, yes, I did. And uh, I, I thought about the second day. I thought about you know if I don't do this, if I don't do the slingshot ride, I'm going to I'm going to let myself down. I'm going to be disappointed. I, I'm going to you know I'm going to have these stories in my head that I was I was I was chicken too afraid. And so I made a decision to to step through it and get enough courage to go up to this crazy ride, the slingshot. And afterwards, after I did that, I, I got a, a huge shift. And this, uh, You've also, You also got to do something else down there, too. You went on the parasail the next day, too, didn't you? Yeah, the parasail was amazing. But I'm skydiving this Friday, and right now I can feel anxiety and fear coming up. And all I know is that I've, I've made a decision to do it. And, you know, um, I think uh, the secret to breaking through your fear is um, just getting enough courage to do it anyway. And uh, I'm going out that door, and I'm going to do it. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> and your daughter's coming, too. It's going to be her first jump as well. Yeah, and if there if there ever was a uh, an Army Ranger a brigade for, uh, for women, she'd be one of them. <laughs> That's cool. I can't wait. I met her one time briefly. She was pretty busy. But I, I look forward to spending some more time with both of you on Friday. Cool. I'm looking forward to it, too. Thanks. All right, so real quick, folks, did you hear what Charles emphasized? He said, make a decision. You remember back earlier in the call, I said there's three things that have to happen. Number one, you have to admit. You have to admit where your life is because you've been living in fear. Number two, you've got to accept responsibility. You can't blame it on the government. You can't blame it on mom and dad. You can't blame it on your husband or your wife or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your boss or the economy. You've got to take responsibility. And the third thing is, is you've got to make a decision to break free. That's the third thing you've got to do. And the fourth thing is you've got to actually do it. You can't just sit around stuck in your head. You've got to actually do it. So the next uh, person I want you to hear from is Valerie Taylor. And she came around about in September of 2010 to our group. And when I said...